Welcome to another Code Swag Ionic tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement search filtering using the Ionic search bar in Ionic Angular. On your screen, you can see we have this employee database app, which has a list of employees with their names in one column, the job title, and the department that they work in. So for example, if I go onto the search bar and I type in manager, you can see our list is filtered down to include those with manager in their job title. So this is a great feature that you can implement in your application and is going to improve the user experience very much, especially in instances where you have very long lists. One caveat about this tutorial is that our search filtering mechanism searches not only in one column, but in all columns. So for example, I could type in Jane and we filter according to the name of the particular employee. I'm going to create a future tutorial where we will limit our search filtering to only one particular column or field. If you'd like to catch that tutorial, you can check out the link showing up in your screen right now. Or if there's no link, then that means that I am yet to create that tutorial. In which case, you should make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can catch that tutorial when it's released. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that we have to do is to create a new Ionic project. But in order to be able to do that, you must make sure that you have Ionic installed. And if you don't know how to install Ionic, you can click on the link showing up in your screen. And that's going to show you a tutorial in getting your environment set up. But right now, I'm assuming that you have Ionic installed. So when you have Ionic installed, you should type in Ionic start in the command line. And for your framework, pick Angular. And in our project name, we're going to call it Search Filter. OK, and we're going to use the blank template. And we are not going to be using Capacitor. So we click No. And the application is going to get instantiated. We are going to decline to create an Ionic account. And there we go. Our application has been created. So let's clear our screen and navigate into the application folder. OK, so our application has been created. The next step is we want to install an NPM package that is going to help us to implement the search functionality, the search filter functionality. So we're going to type in npm install ng2 npm install ng2 search filter. Press enter. All right, great. It's been installed. Then we're going to clear our screen. And next, we want to open our application in Visual Studio Code and get coding. So we want to go to Source, App, Home, and we're going to be working with this, our home page. The first step is we want to go to home.page home.module.ts Let me increase the size of the font. And next we want to import the search pipe module.
So we are importing the ng2 search pipe module from the ng2 search filter that we installed in the previous step. And we are going to add this class right here to our imports. Make sure that you add a comma there. And that's it. We're going to press Control S or Control or, or Command S on a Mac in order to save. And next, we want to go to the home.page.ts. So here we go, home.page.ts. And let's close that. Okay, so in home.page.ts, we are creating two uh, member variables in our class. The first one is search term, which is of the type string. And we're going to use this to contain the search term that goes into our search bar. And then next, we are going to create an array which is going to contain the employees in our database. This is going to be a very simple example. So we are not getting employees from a server or anything like that. We're just going to focus on the functionality that does search filtering. So here I'm going to quickly paste in a list of sample employees. So you can see we have in our array, sorry, let me get rid of that duplication. We have an array and the array is going to contain objects. And each object has a name property, a position property, and a department property. So this object represents one employee. This is another employee, etc., etc. So this is in our home.page.ts. Let's save this file. Next, we are going to go to home.page.html. And in home.page.html, we want to get rid of this uh, content that is already there. Here, we're going to change that to employee database. And I just want to make this quick change here. and press save. All right, so this is the new blank um, application. So next, I want to add in some markup. Okay, so here's the basic code that we've added to our template. So we have an ion list and in the ion list, we have ion items and the ion item is going to be dynamically generated from the array of employees that we have. So for each ion item, we're going to display the name of the employee, their position and their department. So let's uh, save this and check it out in our browser. So control S to save. And next, we're going to go back to the terminal. And in the terminal, we are going to type in the command ionic serve. Okay, so here we go. We have our list of employees right there. So let's go back to the application and now implement our search bar with the list filtering capability. Okay, so here we have created our search bar and I've just adjusted all the attributes um, to put them on their own line so that it's easier to read. So first of all, we've created a placeholder. So this placeholder is going to appear in the search bar. Next, I've created an ng model and set it equal to search term. 
So what this does is it means that whatever is typed into the search bar is going to be put in this variable right here. So what we type in the search bar is going to be linked with the value of that variable. And then we are creating a uh, cancel button. This is just for uh, cosmetic sake. And we're going to add some animations to make everything look very nice. And then we've also made changes to our ion list. So here where we are looping through the employees uh, array, we've added this pipe. So we have this pipe character right here. Um, if you're looking for it on your keyboard, it's going to be around the enter button. So we have the pipe character and we're typing in filter and we're filtering in according to the search term. So that means that whatever we type in the search bar is going to be placed in the search term variable. And we are filtering this list that is generated according to the search term. So let's save this file and go back to the browser and test. So we are back in the browser and we can see we have our search bar up here. And you can see the placeholder text that says try Jane. And when we click, you can see our cancel bar uh, shows up. And we have some very nice animations that is showing how it works. So if I type in Jane, you can see our list has been filtered. And I can uh, try uh, production, for example. And we can see every employee who's in the production department. So that's it. That's how you can implement simple search filtering in your Ionic application. If you'd like to know how to uh, implement search filtering only on a particular field, then check out the video link showing in the corner of your screen right now or in the description below. Or if you don't find such a link in the description, then that means that I am yet to publish that video, which means that you should click the red subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that you can be notified when that video is up and also when future videos have been uploaded. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next tutorial.